to my youtube channel my name is bambi i'll be doing a makeup tutorial with you guys nothing really serious because i'm not a makeup artist so people have been saying i should do makeup tutorials so i'll do what i do if i do it wrong i'm sorry you can comment down below like you didn't do this you didn't do this but i'm just doing it for those who've always asked me to do my makeup on my channel so without wasting much of your time let's get right into this video i'll just tie my hair back don't come and roast me in the comments down below that hey, this is your real face you've got those many pimples yes i do and i am okay with having so many pimples so i'm not okay i'm trying to work on something but yeah um i start with my eyebrows for me so um I've got a small mirror down here because I need the mirror. I literally can't see. Don't roast my nails. So um, I start with my eyebrows. So I just brush up. I haven't shaped them in a long time, so they are out of proportion. So um, sorry. Someone stole my spoolie. I don't know why. But yeah, this is basically just um, from my old mascara. So I use it for my eyebrows, to brush my hair for my eyebrows. So I just brush everything up. Honestly, that's how I start. I just brush everything up so that everything doesn't come and interfere the down part of my eyebrows. Then... I use a brown eyebrow pencil so if you're watching this from ukraine it's some malvo eyebrow pencil sorry um, i don't think the camera will focus but it's um malvo in number four so the shade is number four and with this honestly i can't advise someone to follow the way i draw my eyebrows because it might be wrong, but either way, at the end of the day, my eyebrows still come out okay. So I go down just at the edge of my eyebrow line, I go thin, really, really thin. So then for the top. I normally start from the middle, somewhere there. So, <laughs> you see why I was saying someone didn't follow my eyebrows? My eyebrow tutorial is really trashy, but that's because I kind of normally follow the way my eyebrows are. So yeah, next thing I fill in. I start with the end. I don't know why. I always seal in the end before the front. I don't know. That's just my way of doing things. So I just um, wrap the line. I don't know why, but I find it more, you know. Then I just let this, the product from this part come in front. I know it looks quite thick at the end but don't worry the con concealer will come and do that so normally to um correct my eye bro yeah i use two concealers i use um black opel this um is in the shade beautiful bronze yeah beautiful bronze so it's kind of like my shade of my skin it's not the foundation but it's a concealer so this i use for the top of my eyebrow and then i use everyone's favorite pro concealer was it l a girl whatever it is but you guys know mostly everybody uses this one i use this shade toffee for underneath my eyebrow i literally start with the arc I just always start with the arc. So I follow where my hairs have ended. 
I didn't really shave my hair, so I might pass a bit overboard, but I follow where I have finished like shaping my eyebrows from. So that will be basically about here. So once I have that, I now go to the front. <laughs> I normally do this to <laughs> help me. I don't know what you guys are going to do, but that's what I do. I hope you are managing to see actually because... No. So with the rest of the product from the eyebrows, I just drop it down towards my um, eyelid. Yeah, just, you know. So this is the concealer. It's practically gone a long way. <laughs> so I just get... Um, some product into my brush and then um i always as before i start with my arc before i start with the front i'm just used to it so yeah then i you know follow through with the front So as you guys saw before, I used my concealer to bring it down to my eyeshadow, my, sorry, my eyelid. So there is concealer all around my eyelid. So to avoid this crease, this is what creases look like, these lines here. I use, um, Sacha, 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 this baraka powder. And I use it for my base of my not too much though, just a bit so that I avoid creases. So I just put it around my So for my eyeshadow, I will start with um this pink shade here from the Zulu Zulu by Julia's palette yeah so I'll get this pink shade and I'll use it as a transition color so yeah transition I just mean um here then with the same brush I just like flab out all the product i just tap on my palette i don't know why it always works but then i use it to blend so i blend in the pink and then for my second color i'll be using this orange and i'll be putting it right here where the pink is like you know kind of ending i don't know what to say but yeah <laughs> blend i'm always used to using the brush i use for the color for blending so i just don't know i feel like it works well so it might not be a blending brush but it just it blends for me so i mean I will now cut the crease so we're going to go with the same concealer and the angle brush I, I hope I mentioned this it's an angle brush so I take it and I take some product okay then I literally do this and I open my eye like so 
so I'll do this yeah so when I do that it helps um, draw a line kind of a demarcation where I should follow but I really go above the demarcation but at least it, it keeps me guided you know so yeah so that's my cut crease so i'm going to be using it's actually a highlight kit but i use it for my eyeshadow so it's anastasia um hot sand so i get the product and i dab it into the cut crease like that So that's what it looks like after I put yeah. So that's it. So I go in with this brown here. Yeah. I get quite a lot of product. <laughs> Not really a lot, but enough. So then I go at the edge of my eye. Yeah. Now this is the part that you don't do a lot, so you just slightly, yeah, you follow the edge of the eyes. And that's basically what I do for my eyeshadow. So let me do the other eye and I will be back. So for eyeliner, I really can't advise you how to draw your eyeliner because eyeliner is really the toughest part of doing and sticking of eyelashes for me. So I have this Mary Kay foundation. Um, it's actually my shade, but then when I went home, I got darker because you guys, Zambia and South Africa was really hot. So I'm not gonna actually buy a new foundation. I just um, put some into this old tin of mine. I just put a, a bit and I mix it with my concealer. The concealer that I used for the top of my eyebrows as you can see it's closer to my skin shade so I just dab from there and dab from here so yeah let's just see so it kind of now makes my shade So for my highlight and contour, I use um, Pro Girl, same shade, Toffee, for my eyelid and okay, you see where I put that and then for my nose, for my nose I use this um, Dark Cocoa.
this is nothing special it's just water that i put into an old container so and then i get my blending beauty blender it's dirty i didn't wash it but yeah i just basically spray make it a bit damp not too damp let's get before this thing dries up So back with this um, powder, I use it to bake my face. So I'm sorry I couldn't put my lashes on camera because that ain't gonna happen sis. Oh bruh, it ain't gonna happen. So just first dust out the powder. So I have this compact powder. It's by Black Opel. It's just brown powder. So yeah, I just pass a bit through my um you know cheek area. Just so it's brown, I don't like it being so yellow. To set my face, I basically use this spray by Avon. Face without the highlighter. And yeah, so now I'm gonna highlight my face in my brush. And I will be using this shade here, Sunray here and I'll be using it just for my cheekbones so for my nose I normally use a blending brush for my nose to highlight my nose so I just do the tip of my nose with the same you know same one I just do the tip of my nose honestly because that's what the shine is and then I just put a little bit onto the middle not really too much but just well and then um i do my i don't know what they call this but yeah you know keep it bold something like that so i highlight it too by inglot yeah and that's what I use for the inlet of my eye. So, by inlet, I mean this part here. I will show that to you real quick here. Black eyeliner at the bottom of my eye. 
then i'll get back my palette and i'll go in with this kind of like shiny ish color but i'll mix it with pink and i'll do that same thing underneath my eyes so to finish off with my eyebrows i use eyebrow gel just to let my eyebrows sit in so so my sister got me this eyebrow gel um Ramel London London or something I don't know what it is but yeah so I just use the eyebrow gel to um set my eyes my eyebrows sorry so firstly I get wipes just to wipe out as you can see there's a lot of product on my lips so i'm not so <clears throat> into lipstick and everything well i am sometimes depending on the makeup that i put onto my face but for this look guys i'm not going to do anything extra but put lip gloss my lips are naturally dark so i don't need the liner for my lips i just put lip gloss onto the top of my lips this is a lip gloss i bought from um Watson's and finally to finish 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 this up I go back to my palette my highlighter and I put it on top of my lip so yeah this is the finished look of my makeup and i hope you guys learned one or two things from this my makeup tutorial not professional makeup tutorial but my own makeup tutorial and yeah don't forget to like don't forget to share turn on the bell Ding. you know that bell so that you get notified every time i post a new video and if you're not subscribed to my channel i present my best but i know it's not enough subscribe 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 to my channel please and without further ado i would like to say thank you to all my subscribers you guys i hit 350 Yay! road to 500 i know it's a small number but start small and end big you know so yeah please subscribe to my channel let's get my channel to 500 subscribers by the end of this year so yeah you guys i'll see you in my next video goodbye peace